is there any special time when you're about to be late to an important meeting, but then you arrive right on time just because of the convenient means of transport around you? Well, let me share some of your experience. Once upon a time, when there existed an irresponsible version of me, I had overslept. And it was a Monday, so I bet you all can guess what the scene was like. I'd missed my bus, I couldn't find my tie. My dad was my last resort. And guess what? He had no time to wait for me as he had a huge event at work. And I've never been late to school, so I had a huge reputation to uphold. After all was done and dusted, I somehow managed to get to school, smack bang on time, and my record of never being late went untouched. As for my dad, well, he knew that this event of his was way too precious and that it'll never come back. Despite all the pressure, he made it there on time. In fact, he made it there early. To this day, I can't be thankful enough for transport. But transport is bound to inevitable evolution. While its design is more or less likely to change, it will certainly change our lives for the better. How about something that everybody's eager for? Autonomous cars. This is nothing short of amazing. An autonomous car can give you your precious me time, and as human be uh, beings, we all need those 20 minutes of mindfulness and peace. Connection with families and friends will naturally bring you joy as you're emotionally connected with these people. Even if it's just 20 minutes, it can make a huge difference to your day possibly in bring out your true potential. Not only that, but Morgan Stanley conducted research which indicated that driverless cars can save the economy $488 billion in annual savings and another $158 billion due to reduced fuel costs. Reports show that 94% of accidents are due to driver behavior and lack of, uh, lack of skill. This could reduce a lot of pressure that is put on the medical industry when it comes to handling fatal accidents. The future of mobility is said to have prodigious impact on the technology, media and telecom sectors, with connected autonomous vehicles generating and handling significant amounts of data as well as demands for OR updates, in-car entertainment and navigation. There is likely to be a tremendous increase in the need for wireless bandwidth and stability. This may encourage the development of 5G capabilities and coverage. The impact of this on the future of mobility will certainly be monumental as it will be a new supply chain for AVs, autonomous vehicles and EVs, electric vehicles, quite different to those of in the internal combustion engine vehicles. The UAE has committed dearly to the goal of making the Earth a better place and has subsequently la launched the Dubai Autonomous Transportation Strategy, in which it aims to make 25% of journeys within the UAE autonomous by 2030. It will cut transportation costs, reduce environmental pollution and save millions of hours on transport annually. Most companies like GM and Ford are likely to use the UAE as a launching ground for their autonomous vehicles as a survey conducted by YouGov presented that half the residents living in the UAE will buy autonomous vehicles if it's made available to them within the next five years. To further increase the chances of this, the UAE plans to hand out data to all autonomous car startups uh, to all autonomous car startups so that it can accelerate the process of developing the technologies required for making the car success. The iconic Expo 2020 was held in Dubai and the intention was crystal clear to invite visitors from all over the planet to join the making of a new world. As they look forward, from building bridge, uh, as they look forward to building bridges and bring to it, bring together nations, communities and individuals to shape a better post-pandemic future for everyone. One of the key themes at Expo was mobility, where quite a few concepts of the future were explored, like having a hands-on activity where you build your own robot, or designing your own spaceship, and seeing technology-inspired performances involving drones and robots, and watching demos of hoverboards and jetpacks. Within the Expo 2020 Mobility Pavilion lies the world's largest lift, which can accommodate 160 people at a time. Space exploration is open to all the young minds of the world to let them flood their imagination with ideas of galaxies, clusters, superclusters, and whatnot, and to make them ponder about the different creatures living within our universe, if not outside it as well. No wonder why space is such a captivating idea to think of, which is why space, uh, uh, which is why SpaceX is aiming to achieve space travel and possibly colonize Mars. 
This can very much inspire and motivate the youth and foster the natural interest in the subject of astronomy. Reports show that when people go to space, they return with a different sense of thinking than what they left Earth with. And here's a simple example. If you were to look at Earth from far away, you'd see that we're all the same, standing on the same soil, breathing the same air, and part of the same species. It brings a reasonable que a question into a person's mind. Why do we discriminate among ourselves despite being the same? I believe that space travel will revolutionize and change minds by the masses because it has the power and charm to do so. Did you hate it when a delivery was late, or when you had? Uh, did you hate it when the delivery was late, or when you uh, when you wanted your delivery to come early because you were way too excited for it? Well, I can relate to that, and many others can too, which is why drone deliveries are going to be a widely adopted idea in the future. They're fast clean and efficient, which makes them perfect for a delivery system. They're, they, um, back when drones weren't a widespread idea, many had thought that it would be used in future wars and battles. But now it's used to support law enforcement, assist, agri uh, assist in agriculture, and give media access to hard to reach places. Such is the difference between two generations. Our thinking has evolved beautifully into the people we are today. Hopefully, transport will exceed all expectations and, uh, and cross all boundaries. Exploration and connectivity will rise to new peaks. Life in the next 50 years will revolve around creativity, critical thinking, and innovation, with mobility being a central part of it. Thank you.